Welcome to Mickey Study Circle channel. In this video, we shall see how to do the computer drafting of the development of the lateral surfaces of the solids using the Solid Edge software. In this problem statement, we have a square prism of base side 30 mm and axis length 60 mm, which is resting on HP on its base, with all the vertical faces being equally inclined to VP. It is cut by an inclined plane 60 degrees to HP and perpendicular to VP and is passing through the point on the axis at a distance of 50 mm from the base. Draw the development of the lower portion of the prism. So if we just look at the problem statement, we can infer certain points. The first thing is the type of the solid. So we have got a square prism which is resting in such a way on the HP that all its faces or the edges are making equal inclinations with the HVP. So this is possible only when the square prism is resting on its corner. So this is the first condition that we need to understand. Next is the condition with respect to the cutting plane. So we have got a cutting plane which is inclined at an angle of 60 degrees to the HP and is also passing through a point on the axis of this prism at a point of 50 mm from the base of the prism. So this is the second point that is to be considered. And we need to draw the development of the lower portion of the prism. So for this, let us see how the solution can be drafted. So first we shall begin the problem by drawing the xy line. So let us draw a line and annotate that line as x and y. So select a line of thickness 0.18 mm for this. Annotate the reference line as x and y and also the planes as vp and hp. After having read the problem statement, now we shall begin with the construction. So here, uh, the first part of the problem statement has been constructed. That is, we have a square prism resting on one of its corners on the HP. Only in this condition, as per the given problem statement, all the edges shall make an equal inclination with respect to the VP. So here we have considered a square prism which is resting on one of its corner C1. And also we have drawn the top and the front view of the square prism. So now we are going to consider the next condition that is to construct the cutting plane. So as per the given problem statement, we shall consider a cutting plane. So for that, let us select the line option and select the center line or the axis line as the cutting plane. So now we are going to mark a point at a distance of 50 mm from the base. So for that, let us just try to consider a point such a way that it is at a distance of 50 mm from the base of the prism. So from the point of intersection of this uh, point and the axis line, we are going to construct a 60 degree line. So that is the cutting plane. So we shall consider the cutting plane at an angle of 60 degrees. So this is the cutting plane. So use the extend to next option and then extend this cutting plane until it is intersecting all the edges of the square prism. So now we can use the trim option, trim this part and this part. So we have just got the cutting plane at the given condition. So now use the line option again and then we shall just retain the lower portion of the square prism. So from this point to this corner and again so this is the condition in which the square prism will look after the upper half is cut by this inclined plane so now we can just consider annotating the points at which the corresponding edges are intersected. So first we shall begin with the edge A dash and A1 dash. So go for the annotation. So now we shall consider that the cutting plane is intersecting the edge A1 dash A dash at the point 1. So here this is 1. And similarly 
uh, for the front and the top views, we shall use this as one dash. And this is the point one on the top view. And then we shall consider the next edge that is B1 dash and B dash. So B1 dash and B dash, it is intersected by the cutting plane at the point two. So this is two dash and here it is two. Next, we have got the edge from C1 dash to C dash. So this edge is not intersected by the cutting plane. So we shall not consider any point on this line. But however, before we move on to the point D1 dash and D dash, we can just see that the cutting plane is intersecting the edges between B dash, C dash, and also between uh, C dash and D dash. So first we shall consider the analogy from B to C and we shall annotate this point as 3 dash here. And here it is 3. So in order to get that point, use a line of 0.13 mm thickness. So from this point, drop a perpendicular line downwards and then it is from the edge B to C. So we shall annotate this point as 3. And also this is on the edge B to C, but whereas even C to D is also intersected by this plane. So we shall annotate that particular point as 4. So on C to D edge, it is the point 4. So here it will be 3 dash comma 4 dash. And then we have got the edge D dash and D1 dash, which is behind the edge B1 dash and B dash. And that is intersected again here by this cutting plane. And I can call this point as phi dash. So these are the phi points on the front plane of the square prism and also the phi points on the top view of the square prism. So these are the points that we have considered. So now we shall do the development of this remaining portion of the prism that is the lower portion of the prism. So if you just cut open the square prism, it will be a rectangular face of the bottom edge or the smaller edge measuring 30 mm because the square prism measures 30 mm and also the axis is measuring 60 mm. So the length of the or the height of the prism will be equal to 60 mm. So what we can do is we can go for constructing the line. So we should just take the uh, reference of the base on this xy line itself. So we shall start considering from this point. So first we shall construct the pmm and then a rectangle of height 60 mm. So a square prism will be composed of four such faces. Thirty, sixty, and the last block of the prism. So that is thirty cross sixty. So we'll just trim this portion of the line which we have taken for reference. Okay. So now this is the initial position when the square prism is opened. So now we are going to project the lines. So before we do the projection, let us just annotate. So this is A1. Okay, we'll use the capital letters. So this is A1 and here this is A. Similarly, this is B1 and this is B. C1 and C. d1 and then this is the point d and this is the next part that is a1 and a so to show the dimension this is equal to 60 mm and this is equal to 30 mm and the total length will be equal to 120 mm so this is the portion of the prism which has been opened 
so now on this we are going to construct these points and then see the actual development like how it looks when the upper half of the prism is removed by this cutting plane so for that the procedure is so which all points is there on the corresponding edges those can be marked by drawing the horizontal projection line so we have got the point one on a1 dash and a dash so we shall intersect a1 and a here and also here so these are the points one so this is point one and this is point one and next we shall consider the next edge that is b1 dash and b dash so it is having a point 2 on the edge so b1 is here so this is the point 2 and next we have got 3 but however 3 is not on c1 dash and c dash nor on d1 dash and d dash but here it is on c to b so what we can do is go for distance between and measure the distance between c to 3 so c to 3 so which is equal to 21.84 so now what i'll do is to consider this point from here that is c1 i'll be considering a line of 21.84 and the end point of this line is the point 3 so the point 3 will be the end point of the line that i've considered here and similarly again let me use the distance between or uh, to locate the point 4 the point 4 is on the edge c to d so what i can do is i'll select the distance between c to the point 4 is here so this point of intersection again it is equal to 21.84 so c to d again i'll mark a line measuring 21.84 and the end point that is 0.4 and next we know that the point 5 is on d1 and d dash so what i'll do is i'll simply extend this line to intersect d1 and d so now we have got the point of intersection so now select the line option of thickness 0.50 mm and then we shall join the points which is being cut so the end point 3 is here followed by c and then we have got the point 4 here so this is the point 5 and then back to point 1 so darken the base of the prism and all these lines that is from the base to the point where it has been cut so on the edges that is c1 c and then from d1 d so this completes the development so you you can uh, just show the distance here which is equal to 21.84 that is on c to b the point 3 and then c to d the point 4 so these are the distance so you can just mention that this is the development of the square prism when it is cut by a plane which is inclined at an angle of 60 degrees so you can just show the angle of this plane inclined at an angle of 60 degrees to the hp and perpendicular to vp and is at a distance of 50 mm from the base of the prism so with this we complete the drafting of the solution for the given development problem thank you all for watching